Can you believe it? Some people over the years have said that my presentations can sometimes be a little bit cheesy. Well, in a home this refined, with such elevated design and European charm, I guess it does call for a little bit higher level of presentation, maybe a bit more fromage. So in this case, I'd like you to check out the heirloom floor plan and see what it's got cooking. Huh, well you don't see this every day. This is a home in a new urbanist community with an old world charm. This is chateau-esque. That's what Calbridge is calling it. In fact, the name of the floor plan is Heirloom and it is fitting. It's got that European vibe and style with a modern take. I think you're gonna love it. Let's go check it out. Excited to show you this home. Now, it's available in a two-story model at over 1,700 square feet, or you can pony up a little bit of extra cheddar. Yeah, it's another cheese joke. To get that third story, that's gonna bring this home to over 2,100 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. I think by the time you see the end of this tour, you're gonna fall in love with this floor plan. Now, right here on the main floor, as soon as you enter into the home, you'll have a dining room to the front. You see some of that charm, that character, pulled in with this beautiful wainscoting design through here and even that nice little bayfront style window. Now in the center of the home is this kitchen and it is stunning. The details in here, both the two-tone cabinets, the three panel mission style doors, the accents on this countertop, this little edging, I was just over actually in Italy and you see this Roman OG, that's actually what it's called. It's such a beautiful finish and it gives it once again that classic style. Right down to the fixtures and the tile, all of it pulls so well to give you that modern sense of old world charm. I love it in here. Now, another thing that really adds to this floor plan, yes, it's nice and open, but there is this big beautiful arch which keeps a nice wide space into this living room but it also gives it a sense of being slightly tucked away, slightly more cozy and charming. I love that. Yes, I've said charming like four times, I apologize. But I mean, just look at this space. Who wouldn't want to hang out here on a nice wintry day? I love the gas fireplace and this nice beautiful design with once again that arch pulled in. You have an exit here to your backyard and a massive window that overlooks that entertaining space and yard out back also connects you up with your two-car garage. Now, if you want something a little bit more formal for when you come and go in from that garage, there's a nice, beautiful, tucked away mudroom in here where you can close the door, keep that mess behind. There's a half bath, just two steps down, and an unfinished basement that you can choose to develop however you want. There's so much more to see, so let's head upstairs. Up here on the second floor, the bedroom level, you'll also find the laundry room space. Super practical if you've got all the clothes up here and two Gouda sized secondary bedrooms. There's also a main bath right here and a really cool primary space. Are you feta up over your current primary bedroom? Well, how about a sp Yes, I did say feta. I know, I know I did. But look at this primary bedroom space. It is so great in here. Fits a king size bed, tons of room, great spot for the TV if you're one of those kind of people, like the TV in the bedroom, and a massive walk in closet. But honestly, the showpiece of this area has got to be this five piece ensuite. Beautiful in there with a dual vanity and even a walk-in shower. Up here on the optional third floor, you'll find a space that really completes this floor plan's design. Look at this vaulted ceiling. There is so much room up here. Whether you want a place to hang out with family or friends, you've got that great outdoor living space out to the front. You could even fit a golf simulator up here or a gym space, really an area like this you can customize to your design. But one of the things that I love about the way they've chose to use it here in the show home is this dry bar at the top of the stairs. Imagine you're entertaining, you've got friends over, making a cocktail on a Friday night. How perfect is this? So tell me, did this home rock fort your world? That's right, rock, rock fort, rock, it's like a cheese. 
Anyway, sorry about that. Honestly, this home deserves even better than what we've shown you here today because when you visit it in person, you will see all the beautiful charm and the details. And the reason we use those little cheesy lines is because that actually increases viewership and that means that more people will watch the tour longer so they can actually experience the brilliance of what CalBridge has put together here. Now, if you wanna come see it in person, I highly recommend it. You can also check it out at alpinepark.ca. And if you wanna visit any of the other show home tours, we've got a playlist right there. And if you never wanna miss another, just subscribe.